Yo, welcome to the Jalen channel. Go on and like this video right now or else something bad is going to happen to your mom. Actually, let me not put that on your mom. My bad, bro. But just like the video, man. And if you're new to the channel, subscribe because we do commentaries on gaming, pop culture, Twitter, and everything. We do commentaries on everything over here on the channel. Go on and subscribe. Today, we're going to be talking about these damn women because I'm tired of these women lying. They always lying, bro. We got this tweet from a goofball and it goes as this. If a man asks you how your last relationship was, lie. I don't care if he slapped you, lie. Tell him he treated you like a Pinterest, he spoiled you, bought you what you wanted, and thought the world of you. If you know, you know. Now, before we go into the quote tweets, replies, and everything else that starts there, let's just go right here, bro. If a woman tells you that a nigga she dealt with was Prince Charming, was the absolute specimen of the man, was the best dude ever, superhero, fucking Clark Kent to this hoe, and she left that nigga, or they didn't work out, Bro, what do you think's gonna happen with you? Do you think you're gonna be like that, nigga? Are you serious? You don't dealt with this superhero ass nigga and you left him and you're not in a relationship with him? That means you're just the devil to satisfy, all right? You're the devil to satisfy and you are very quick to move on. Never forget, bro, when, when you look at these relationships and these like goofball ass stats when it comes to marriage, this is a certain gender that initiates a, a majority divorce. If a bitch was dealing with these niggas and she was super happy, quote unquote, and getting treated so good and she's not with him anymore, didn't stay with him, it, that nigga's nowhere near. What does that mean for you, man? It's different if you were like, ah, yeah, me and my ex, we were kind of on and off. It was some toxic shit. Had to leave that alone so I can grow. But my ex, oh yeah, he was taking me on trips. He was buying me shit. He was treating me so good. He talked to me so nice. And you left him? What? Are you fucking serious? The whole the whole thing um, that girls like to say is, well, if you tell a guy that your ex was treating you awful and et cetera, et cetera, then they're going to think that they can treat you like that. Well, shit, bro. It's a risk you take when you have to be an honest person. The fact that these women expect you to be honest with them as a man, tell them the truth about things, be upfront, be be an honorable dude with them, while they can just literally cap their ass off about shit that supposedly doesn't matter. Never forget that a woman's past is apparently not supposed to matter until it's time to tell a man that she's interested in about her past. Now, now it's time to come up with fucking white lies. Now it's time to cap our fucking ass off. Now we just now we just have to tell the most outrageous lies ever you mean to tell me the nigga that took you out the country bought you designer shit out here out here helping you pay your bills and doing all this other goofball shit you mean to tell me you left that nigga oh i know oh i know i'm not staying here too long oh yeah i know i'm not staying here too long i'm over that shit down in replies we have this miguel dude he says and once he figured out the lie he will leave you elevate your standard and don't allow anyone to give you less which i think is pretty good advice but of course women don't give each other good advice on the internet when it comes to men that's why these bitches be in the situation they be in but her response to this is i doubt it if you end up being together and talking about your real experiences that's one of the dumb white lies you laugh together about the lying part was a joke but it also tells someone your expectations to me. What? What the fuck is going on? Lying, lying to someone that you just met is never a joke. Like telling white lies and, and capping about shit that's supposedly not important. That's never a joke, bro. That's never a joke, bro. And that's why a lot of these women keep each other fucking miserable in these shitty situations. What part of lying to a man is funny? Like what? Oh, uh, that was just a little white lie I told you when we first met each other. Not a big deal. Ah, ha, ha, ha. What? If a goofball asshole lies to you about anything that's like quote unquote not important, not significant, all that shit, bro, who knows what else she's going to lie about? She doesn't even view lying as a real bad thing. As long as I told you something that doesn't really matter, it's cool. Bro, how old are you, man? Are you in fucking high school or something, bro? Yo, rather, rather lying to someone than telling the truth is like some fucking rap music shit, all right? That's some like fucking movie shit. That's, that's some Netflix special shit. That's not real life. That's goofy in real life. Because who am I to even fucking lie to, bro? We just started talking. In the situation that this girl's talking about, this is a situation in which two people just start talking. Why on earth? What what does the lie do, bro? I I come on, bro. So I'm gonna get to know you, and then when I get to know you, I'm gonna figure out that you're a fucking liar. Oh, I'm just gonna stay around with a smile on my face. Cool beans. Get the fuck out of here. And this is what happens on the internet, bro. When 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 people are like fucking dumb and wrong, and people like aren't always agreeing with her. Of course, she got her support from the goofball ass women on Twitter because there's just too many of those. So she got her support from them. But once you get to the replies, you start seeing this. Uh, this, 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 this nice little dude. He says, lying part is never a joke. So ly lying's never a joke, basically. If your man's lied, even if it was a white lie, your trust would diminish. 
why wouldn't he do the same to you? We go down to the comments, right? We go, to, we go down to what Lil's talking about. What are you talking about? I said the lying part as in lying as part of my tweet is a joke. How are you going to tell me what I'm joking about? The fuck? Bro, this girl has been defending her original tweet, which was basically the one that we just read right here. She's been defending this shit all throughout this thread. When this thread drops, she's been def defending this shit all throughout this thread. But now we're supposed to believe that this is a joke. Because now people are actually like coming like, yo, what the fuck? Your logic's kind of off. Yo, what was, what's wrong with you? Why do you think this is okay? Now that people are saying that to her, now this shit was just a joke. Oh, then lying about your past experiences, that was just a joke. I just exaggerated a little bit. What are you fucking talking about, pal? You're a goofball. Now, there is one way I guess a woman could get this off, and I guess you can let that shit slide. Uh, another reply uh, from a, another common sense person was basically like, okay, why y'all break up then? Homie sound like a good ass dude. Nigga did all this shit for you. You just left him. Sound like a pretty good guy. Uh, what happened? Why did you leave him? The only thing that I could possibly let slide it's something along these lines. But listen, we peeping game now, though, because of this. Because we wanted different things out of life is my answer to why I would say I didn't stay with my last ex, even if he was a really good guy that was doing all this shit for you. That would probably be the only thing that would give me, oh, we were going to do two different paths. We wanted two different things from a relationship, yada, yada, yada. But it should always be in the back of your head, though. If you ever hear some goofball shit like this, it should be in the back of your noggin, bro. You should be thinking about it like, man. One day she could just start wanting something different from me and it could be all over. And I did all this nice shit to her, did all this good shit for her for absolutely no fucking reason. So, bro, I'm tired of these women lying. Don't worry, though. This 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 series right here. Oh, this series is finna get spooky. This series is finna get spooky. This is uh, this is like really old classic Ja. Some of you guys that subscribe from like all the gaming stuff, all the gaming podcast, seed stuff, actually defiant shit. Some of y'all really don't know how Ja started this channel of getting real wild, bro. We got something in the fucking cooker after this one. Also, we got a siege video because I hit diamond, so I gotta make that siege video. Anyways, that's it for the Ja man. If you guys enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. See you guys in the next one. You gon' catch you if I You say you hollers where you can say bye God don't know, tell me just what you like We're bringing four and don't give me a bite Shawty the baddest, she light skin Wake up, I pray in the night sin They spend the rest on some diamonds I need your smile, that shit priceless Hop in the whip, you gon' catch you if I You say you hollers where you can say bye God don't know, tell me just what you like We're bringing four and don't give me a bite Shawty the baddest, she light skin Wake up, I pray in the night sin They spend the rest on some diamonds I need your smile, that shit priceless That little shorty said she she from Jamaica They can get like you, they turn to a hater Sip out the bottle, she don't need no chaser She a lot throw you, we went to the cater So we get just spark and we smoke and we chill Shawty, you find I'm just keeping it real I'm fucking with you, tell me how you feel